Here at the Royal Society, we have two treasure chests that have not been opened in decades. In my hands, the keys to those chests. If you are not excited right now, seriously, you are watching the wrong YouTube channel. Oh, there we yep. go. There we go. I think I've got it, Keith. One, two, three. Oh, there's coins in there. We are going to follow the great YouTube tradition of doing an unboxing video. Let's unpack the goodies. This is a cool thing. It's to try to get across to people what was actually going on in a very easy visual way. Quite extraordinary objects. These are the death masks of Isaac Newton and James Jeans. I tend to be slightly uneasy about showing this death mask. We, we very rarely get it out. We certainly don't exhibit it. But in a way, I think that, that Jeans as a scientist might have understood the motives behind it and that the fact that it is an objective representation of something that we very rarely confront. I'm here once again with Professor Lucy Green. She's an expert on solar science and well that means she's an expert on the sun. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And look at this. Have you got any idea what this actually is? I have no idea, absolutely no idea. I've never seen anything like this before, but it looks like we've got the signs of the zodiac. What you are looking at here is one of the most magnificent artefacts of all science. For curious people who were just rationally looking at nature, almost everything was there to be discovered. What they simply needed to apply was their curiosity, and they found something. Hey, Objectivity, Michael here from Vsauce. Brady is taking some time off. He told me to say that, but I mean, if you look closely, you can see his reflection, he's filming right there. But I'm really excited to be here with Keith and to be looking at some awesome objects for objectivity. So there we go, everyone. That is officially a Troy pound of platinum. Look at that. Lovely. It's a beautiful thing. I'm seeing it for the first time. You are seeing it for the first time. And even Keith is seeing it for the first time. Hmm. Keith is promising bling. Okay. Here we go. We're going to open this up and have a yeah. look. What is it? Are you ready for some bling? Whoa. What's in the box? Are you yeah. going to open the box? Well, I think we should, don't you? Let's open the box. Look at that. Neither Keith nor I are scientists, but we have had a few scientists in an adjoining room mm -hmm. come and have a look and they've been making a few suggestions, but we'd love to see in the comments what you think some of these other parts are for. I'm sure some of you will actually know. All right. We're in. And here we have Fiona look, doing a real retrieval. Look, real, real science is being done. None of this show pony video stuff. Have you discovered the shortest paper ever published in the Philosophical Transactions? That would be good. Is there a shorter one than that? Is there? I don't know. Is this like the Jesus wept of Phil Trans? Here's Nico from Barcelona. He just walked in at lunchtime and said, I've seen objectivity, I want to see stuff. He came with a list of three things he wanted to see. And now Keith has to go to the library and get them out for him. You've been watching us filming, what do you think? Yeah, uh, it was all in one take. All one take. See. Are you impressed by our professionalism? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm Very not good. paying him, I'm not paying him for this. And I'm gonna randomly pick a card out and then we're gonna go down into the archives and find that item. Look at that. It's about an eclipse of the moon. Is that like the official way you have to carry it? It is, unless the Queen is present, in which case you carry it a different way. Really? Yeah. So that's the way you carry it normally. How do you yeah. carry it if the Queen... Oh, you can't show me how to I, do it. I, well, she's not here, so I can't show you. Oh. <laughs> not that we want to draw any attention to ourselves, but no. look at this massive mace we've got. Yeah. There are more of them. There's a whole collection. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> I was going to say they are one of my favourite things in this room, but... Let's find you some more favourite things. All right. 